Hello. Welcome. I am making this video for a couple of reasons. The first reason I just <laughs> was that it's that time of year again. My birthday is coming up. Um, I made this video last year way further in advance than I am now, but I am actually <laughs> wearing the exact same shirt I was wearing in the video last year which has got to be a good sign, right? Like that's gotta be like something uh, <laughs> or, or not. Um, but even before I get into that uh, kind of announcement, I wanna say a couple of things. I wanna first say thank you. Um, we are going into May of 2023. Can you even like wrap your brain around this? Um, we have, <sighs> had the privilege to participate in some really, really amazing things and that will continue um, throughout the rest of the year for hopefully for a very long time, but forever long, uh, those projects are uh, meant to go on. That's what we are participating in. Uh, we've had just a really amazing time in being able to sew directly into not just the black community directly but also sew into those who um have partners who work directly with the black community and just engaging and communicating in language all the things and we're just very grateful that that these partners we have uh, stand for life save the storks and campaign i feel like i'm probably totally missing people um gloria purvis uh, christina bennett trene mcgee have just really came alongside of us arm in arm and really have been able to make some things move and uh, uh, and push things uh forward <laughs> that that have seemed stagnant for a while um and so I'm grateful for that I am really grateful in this in this season right now for those who have come before me uh to kind of make uh, make a way um to even shed light on uh the abortion numbers in the black community uh so that I could really enter into a space to, to have those conversations with my community, but also the ability to bring in all the racial uh, justice components that come along with being pro-life from womb to tomb and really <clears throat> helping to communicate, give language to uh, help those in the black community wrestle with some of the some of the things that we've been uh, fed some of the things that we've known in our heart and in our own households that don't really make sense but not really sure how to communicate those and so i'm grateful for katherine davis dr alvita king uh, walter hoy i'm grateful for all of these individuals and i'm sure i'm missing a ton of people that you know just in a time when there was a lot of pushback, kind of stood stood up and said, wait a minute, we need to talk about this. With that being said, <laughs> um, you know, this is still very much, there's a lot of tension in this space. There's a lot of wrestling in this space and not always necessarily coming from the black community. Um, it comes from all different angles in terms of whether or not someone believes that your message is effective or not, or that you should be the one spreading the message, or um, should this even be a focus? But I will say this, it, it's been 50 years. And when I came into the pro-life movement 10 years ago, this is all I heard about was why isn't the black community, you know, in an uproar about this. But it seemed once we got involved that it's easy for people to make a post or to say something 
but it's really difficult for people to sit knee to knee and have this conversation. No matter what side of the fence they're on, no matter what their other beliefs are, those opinions and thought processes can sometimes hinder uh, getting the message across. And so um, we continue to do the work and we continue to blaze this trail of, you know, seeing things that really need to be done that have never been done, that really have to be done, that haven't been done for a really long time, that need to be updated and really understanding how we get the message to the Black community and those who deeply care um, about the empowerment and success and uplifting of the Black community. How do we get this to them? The different, you know, which ways are going to be most effective? So all that to say, your gifts, your monetary gifts really go to that work and it's hard to uh quantify that right in terms of always return on investment because we're talking about people we're talking about sometimes seed planting sometimes we're talking about watering sometimes we get to, sometimes we get to see the fruit um and you, you we we try to bring you the stories of the fruit or even the stories of the seeds being planted um we have a, a young lady that we were able to talk to and pray over and uh, at Southern University in Baton Rouge who had just found out she was adopted not too long ago. And she ended in, in a very uh, intimate, transparent conversation with our board member, Christina Bennett. And she, she said her life has been changed. And so, and that just gave me goosebumps because sometimes we hear those words and sometimes we don't. Um, in, 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 in what we do. And so I, I want to thank you all who continue to trust us with, <laughs> with your resources. Um, and those who have, you know, decided to give monthly, those who have given one-time donations, we, there, there aren't even enough words. I, I feel like I'm rarely ever at a loss for words. <clears throat> But there really are not enough words for me to um, to to say, except for thank you, um, thank you, because you have no idea well how it propels us to keep going, um, and so and and yes, I do like as the founder and president of Pro Black for Life, I do feel like I ask for money a lot. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I sometimes wish there was just like, you know, this pool and, you know, we just take our little bucket to the pool and dip in and whatever, get whatever we need for the time and go back. <laughs> um, but technically I guess there is right. And that's where the ask comes from. And so this year I will turn 45 on May 7th and I have always been super excited about my birthday. Um, I don't mind getting older. I did realize on Southern's campus this year, exactly like that I was older. <laughs> uh, I think usually I used to feel kind of like trendy, not or maybe not trendy, that's pushing it, but feel like, you know, like I understood what, you know, what was going on. And, you know, my, I have kids who are college age and like, I literally look at the pictures. I was out there like somebody's auntie, which I was totally okay with because that, is what actually allowed them to engage with us. And so I'm I'm not knocking that. I, I, I fully have put that on and embraced it. <laughs> that I'm now, um, my kids are college age kids and these kids could be my kids and I am like their mom or their auntie and that's fine and it's loving and it's sweet and um, the interactions which were beautiful uh, because of that. So what are we doing? We're doing what we did last year. We are trying to raise $4,500 uh, in honor of my birthday. And so this will go from today, April 26th through May. We're going to do through May 27th because we're just going to do 20 days after my birthday. An opportunity to raise $45. So last year, you guys made it so much fun. 
I was like giggling. I had people give $4.40. I had people give like do everything in their power to make it like $44. Um, I had people give $444. I had people give half like, you know, $222. Um, so you guys, I really cherish every amount that comes through. I really, really do. Um, because I know how hard it is right now, but I also know how hard it is, um, just to sew into something. Um, but we cherish you. We love you. Uh, we love that you come alongside us. Uh, I love all the emails I get, all the messages, all the DMs. I love it all. I, I am blessed that at this point in time, in this journey, I'm still the one reading those messages. Um, and I haven't had to let that go. <laughs> so every time you send a message, it comes directly to me, whether it's a lovely message or a not so lovely message, they come to me. Um, I will say that if you send a not so lovely message, I more than likely don't finish it. So <laughs> that's not an imitation. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're raising $4,500 for my 45th birthday this year, which is May 7th. Um, I will leave our PayPal link, our Cash App link, and our um, <clears throat> Venmo link, which are all um, business related. So we are just so grateful for you and so thankful for you um, and all that you have done. And I just really cannot wait to see what's up next. I mean, I kind of know what's up next, but I really can't wait to, <laughs> to show you the results of um, what's up next and the fruit of that. So happy birthday to me.